Welcome back, my friends, to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Level. But we gotta talk about those Baja Blues. In the year 2256, the NCR colony of Rattletail was established in the northern position or portion of the Baja California by some volunteer colonists who advanced with formal funding and merit from the NCR, but with little to no supervision or military protection. This was to prove almost fatal for the young colonists who elected to, by force, take control over the primary water source in the region, a fact that they were ignorant to at the time. Locals retaliated against the small settlement, due in part to desperation, and launched two major assaults against the township, both of which were stopped with relative ease. It was the intervention and wisdom of a young ranger named Hanlon that ended the dispute before the toll of the conflict became notable. The man crafted a bitter, a clever lie, spouting nonsense about an army of raiders that would soon come and wipe the town away. The colonists evacuated, and the locals regained their water supply, and greater conflict was avoided. Unfortunately... This lie had an unintended result. It implanted in the locals the notion that the NCR was afraid of raiders, slavers, and the other violent sort. The locals of Baja have had, had almost a decade to prepare for the return of the NCR, and in preparation for that coming, they've adopted a violent, cruel lifestyle. Baja is now home to an up-and-coming Mexican cartel, one that will almost be impossible to dislodge without violence. The path into the future is a complicated one, and there are only a handful of men in the NCR who have the potential to deal with this problem. Who do you point to oversee the handling of Baja handling a Baja, the Baja Frontier. Baja, like Baja Mountain Dew. But, um, oh, we've got a couple comments to go through as well, so we got to talk about them Baja ba -ba -ba Blues. So, let's see, overall, like, earlier we went down with the Ranger General to get more technocracy. I kind of want to go that way, so if we look over here, Ranger Deployment has democracy. Local Sympathies has autocracy. And we have Political Bandits for technocracy. And actually, one, two, three... Ten places, ten regions, ten provinces provinces get quite a few factories, so that ain't too bad. So I'm kind of leaning towards this one. We got to choose Hayes for this one. Ranger Chief Hanlon, the heavy hand. Hector Santango, Santa Angel, the local sympathizer. Or Grant C. Hayes, the mayor of Deglo. Hayes, c'est la vie. Grant C. Hayes, a successful politician from Deglo, on the border of Baja, has come up with a plan to gain the loyalty of Baja. He tends to treat the local banditos as independent governments and humor them with a formal and governmental approach, ideally. This should allow him to position himself for political gain and avoid risking the lives of the men and women of Deglo, which is not bad. An offer from the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood of Steel is offering to trade us a number of advanced pre-war military discs and training guides in exchange for a series of pre-war industrial machines located within our territory. How do we respond? Information is power. We couldn't get them running anyway. We get lexicon and tactics, which gives us more land doctrine research speed. Giving anything to the Brotherhood is dangerous. That's very true, but this seems like the one I would normally choose. So we'll go with information is power. Cool. A couple comments. Uh, let's see. Someone recommends we do a world conquest. Well, to do that, we need 100% world tension, and we're only 30%, so that kind of sucks. Maybe. I don't think this will be a world conquest, so... But we'll, tr we'll try to take over quite a bit of land. We'll do the best we can. You know, no guarantees, but we'll try to do the best that we can, of course. Ooh, look at that speed. 5%. Eh, speed's okay, you know. Supply so consumption is definitely what we're going to have to go for. And get some primitive radio. Public projects are very nice, but what if we got some standardized tools? Still, 15,000 manpower. That's probably good enough. Ooh, defenses are online. I like that a lot. Well, let's see. Do we have anything else here? Defenses are online. Help settlements. Yes, 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 yes. Please. We currently get 1.63 political power every single day, which is nice. And we ran out of money just because, well, we bought the scrap heap junction or scrap heap here from the, NC the NCR. No, we are the NCR. The Desert Rangers, who are still independent of us, which is not great, but it is what it is. After our political banditos, bandito payments. Although formal interaction has acquired, hasn't worked particularly well, it has become apparent that the banditos of Baja are looking for something the NCR has in spades. Money and power, two things that can easily be given to them in exchange for loyalty and political clout. And since we're here, let's go and read about the Baja Integration Act. The political masterpiece of Grant C. Hayes is the Baja Integration Act, the formal creation of an official NCR state under a foreign bandito council. All parties are willing to sign. Although the terms of rejection are incredibly simple, and it would require only a minor offense to send all this to, ru to ruin. Yet, who would want to benefit from that, though? Hmm, we shall see. So we got that stuff done. We can grab that, but we're going to wait. Let's grab some crop rotation. Crops are good for a nation that wants to become large and in charge. Even though we have most of California under us. Let's take a look, actually. South Mojave, of course, we're training some planes up here. Ooh, shippies. We love shippies. There you go. Uh, East California, we got some more divisions. So up here, next to Klamath. If we get to Klamath, that would be great. Oh, I'd love to get rid of them. I would so love to get rid of them. Yeah, they really need to get... Uh, yeah, I would... Oh! 
I thought we needed 100% roll tension. Oh, my finger slipped. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, well, it happened, you know. Things happen. Fingers slip from time to time. Oh, oh well, it is what it is. Baja integration will be very nice. Let's see all the comments. Okay, so with the latest update, with Old World Blues 3.2, you know, um, liberty or death. Apparently, as you, as we all saw yesterday, and as some of you guys commented, like now that we don't have special, like it, the special no longer limits us to the unit leader traits, which is good for some, bad for some. It makes some sense, but you know it is what it is. If if you like it, you like it. You don't like it, you don't like it. I kind of miss the old way. I kind of prefer the old way, but I understand why they did it like this. It makes it more useful and makes a little bit more sense when in terms like if people are leading power armor. Then you should probably actually be able to get to pain train instead of some other stuff. Ooh, look at that. Oh, actually, you get more attack and speed now. That's different. That's a little bit more different than before. Okay, that's that's cool. Oh, super mutant attack. Look at that. Strong back. Also, they did update these just slightly more. But oh, sniper. That's different. You get more special ops attack and defense. I like that. It used to be one percent more attack and defense and or was it recon bonus when on defense or something like that. Damage reduction against cast and night person. Night can attack. I kind of like what they did here. It, looks, it makes. Ooh, minus 10% soldiers lost. Wasn't it 8% before? I kind of like what they did here. I like that the, oh, the devs continue to tweak their game and to see if there's anything that could be better, worse, you know, things like that. So, Animal Friend. Wasn't that at one point... Oh. Are we supposed to defend that? Um, Maybe? Ooh, that's not good. Anyways, Animal Friend wasn't like minus. That's not bad for Super Mutant Defense. Uh, they probably will win there, but um, minus ten percent division attrition. Leader, of course, guns expert. Oh, fire team. Gun nut is actually fire team stuff. Look at that. Support attack and then regular attack and defense. Combat robots, which actually got a little bit, a bit of a boost as well for security robot attack and stuff. Enforcer attack and speed. Nerd rage used to be minus fifty percent reduction in when moving or to organization when moving. Ooh, militia. Ooh, gunslingers change. It's no longer infantry. It's lawkeeper and militia, so that's not really as good as it used to be. Commandos now spe spec up spe attack and defense, which is not bad. Leader skill bonuses? Huh. Ninja. They used to give more recon when moving, I think. Idiot savant. Plus 10% equipment capture ratio. Wasn't it 20% at one point? Mr. Strangers fi was 5% more attack for anyone, but this is just infantry attack and defense, and ghoul attack and defense, which is basically infantry, and bloody mess. Instead of a reduction of bonus by minus 30% and plus 15% more attack, now it's demo attack. Okay, that is different. Not necessarily better, but I think overall it was a positive change for uh, the skills and traits. The old world wall holds, which is Im almost impossible to take out if you're playing as a legion, which really sucks. I wish I'd get maybe tweaked a little bit more, but maybe it did. I don't know. So, I need to play as Legion again sometime. Work on growing economy. And what else we have here? Imperialist. Oh, caps. I like caps. Ooh, damage garrisons goes down, though. Hmm. Finding the followers prosperity. Oh, I'm going to wait for that stuff. Uh, what else do we have here? Tactician. Yeah, we definitely need that one. Yeah. Supplies can be such a big issue, so. Cool. And this blows Baja. If you like to read about the secret meatloaf, please go ahead. This happens every campaign. With the Baja campaign turning out to be a grand victory for the Republic, our citizens can rest easy that they will not be attacked in the night by roaming bandits. The Baja Integration Act. The efforts of Grant C. Hayes have finally borne fruit. Four innumerable bribes and efforts to placate the various raiders of Baja, California, have resulted in what can largely be considered a success. The various gangs are at our tables, offering to both disarm and unify under the umbrella of the NCR, in exchange for further funding and, most importantly, the ability to gain protection from the central government of the NCR. All is well, and the Integration Act seems to be going as planned, yet the peace talks are delicate, and it would only take the smallest offense to push the gangs back of G Baja back into violence, and yet who would want that? Violence has been averted at... And peace will come to Baja at last. Baja, see? This was a ploy to save face. Raiders have no place in the Republic. Changes the national focus tree to NCR Puppet, huh? Wait, do we become that? Oh. Wait, hold on. Um, I guess violence has been averted. This is the one I would choose. I'd rather just kill them all off and annex them and core them. Violence has been averted. Now this is the one. This is the route I would never take. I would never ever take this route. But we want to see what it's all about. The Bear Victoria is cool. I haven't seen this one before. With the focus tree, the NCR draft, uh, reintroduced trade, defensive militias, uh, light of civilization is very nice. New industry, embracing the future, a new NCR state. 
Well, hopefully we can annex them. We might be able to. We hopefully can. So, let's see. Subduing the war bands, taking skulls off sticks, freeing the slaves, tribal talks. That's not bad, actually. I kind of like that one. This one's not bad either. Um, introducing modernity, dispelling myths, or myths, engaging the community. Pretty not bad. NCR law. Cool. I didn't know what that is, so that's actually really cool that we got to see that. But we don't get them as cores yet, but that's all right. This is Baja. And we actually upgrade our economy a lot, which is really good. We replace growing economy with steadfast economy. Overall, really, really nice. Which is one of the comments that I did want to get to, uh, as someone did say in the comments from the last video. That that person likes to rush down towards Beacon of Democracy, where it helps our growing economy as well. So, I didn't realize this. Thank you for bringing that up, because I wasn't even looking at Beacon of Democracy earlier. So, thank you for bringing it to my attention, because I completely forgot about it. Ugh, forgot about it. So, thank you. Dynamite. Ah, let's get a little kabloomy here. Kaboom, boom, 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 boom. Uh, so this is ahead of time. Ah, whatever. Standardized tools. Let's grab some uh, good stuff here. Yeah, additional planning would be very, very nice. Ooh. Yeah, we could have grabbed Pioneer Kits, but that's okay. Let's see. Refugees. 5,400 refugees have come to settle in our states. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, do we like refugees? Depends on the day. Depends who they are. Depends if we really want them. But what I do know is that we want Klamath. There goes the hang dogs. Cool. So they are a puppet now, so we don't really worry about them too much. You guys focus on the southern side. I guess they're southern. Our northern, northeastern side. Oh, you know what? Let's create an intelligence agency. Ranger intelligence. Uh, that's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. If you think you can come up with a better name, please let me know in the comments below. Ranger intelligence, R-I. Uh, that's just, I don't know. That doesn't sound very good to me. Oh, that's your puppet idea. Okay. That's your puppet idea, too. Baller's spreading. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. I still haven't played as a timekeeper before either. Oh, that's not good. We need more money, though. More money. More money. Military society. Uh, political actions. Oh, we could exploit them. We could clamp down on autonomy, too, which should not be bad. I should probably prepare for the war against the the Legion. So we got that done. That's pretty nice. Actually, let's take a look here. We're on steadfast economy. Nice. That was definitely better than where we were at before, so. Uh, mayoral victory spo spoich? Spoich? Speech? Oh, I'd love to do this. That's alright. Let's go and keep doing this then. Since this looks like a pretty good thing to do. Old World Wisdom, Land Doctrine. We could probably do that. As the center of the NCI's military doctrine is the concept of the Old World Military. The army is organized around a layered command structure with intensive logistical support and the use of specialized troops. Many consider the NCR's attempts to mimic the doctrines of the Old World as foolish, but one need only look at the success the NCR has had in dealing with raiders and tribes. Very good. We're still technically training. Um, gear is conviction. So, yeah, let's see about these guys. Whoa, that is... Yeah, yeah we are using the Californian aesthetic, so that's a little different. Mari Turney, very nice. We could technically go to war with them as well, but I think we'll wait. I want to kill off Klamath first, because it's part of California. we got to have them under us, so... Actually, we can go to war very soon, too. Ranger Intelligence, very nice. Now we're going to spend all the caps that we don't have. Cool. How much money do we have? Whoa! Mojave campaign. Defeating the Legion of the Dam was but the first step. Despite the defeat, we're facing with an unending guerrilla war and raids across the almighty Colorado. But this this costs the Legion as much as us. War never changes. Mojave campaign. Oh, well, I guess we better be ready then. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So they won't go there. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna leave four there. Let's get let's kill off um Hopefully not to fight these guys too. Uh, kill off one, two, three, four. That should be good enough. Uh, even though they don't have enough divisions yet either. Kill off Klamath, so we'll have more divisions here. Uh, you're leading infantry. You're actually technically a field marshal, so I'm going to wait to use you and change that. Let's get Pioneer Kids. That'd be good. Uh, just kill off Klamath, please. That'd be nice. And we have to take out the Brother to Steal, probably, so... Let's, we've got to wait on that. Oh, Slim Picket. Not bad. Hey, we're, we finally are okay on money, though. Organization relations don't care. Expand into Chester. Oh, start a border war. Oh, it's because we're uh, we're kind of allied with them. Actually, isn't Arroyo technically? Yeah, they're part of California too. Do we have anything in our focus tree? Because I can't wait till like Old World Blues 4.0 comes out. Nope. And Arroyo, Arroyo means like was it garden or like river or something like that? I can't remember. It's a Spanish word. I eh, wouldn't call our people in. That's fine. Um, but uh, I can't wait for 4.0 because I think Arroyo is getting a focus tree rework or something like that. I, I might be wrong about that, but that'd be really cool. You guys, don't worry about that. Just go up there. There you go. Just cut him off. That's literally all you have to do. Just cut him off. Oh, look at this. Gunter Asheville. Asheville, like North Carolina Asheville. Let's go with linguist. Mateo Stanwell. Hello, Mateo. 
Are we still doing that? Oh, cool. Very nice, very nice. Oh, now we're not. Thank you. Out of haggling. Very good. Old world wisdom. Uh, sure, guys. You Don't worry about it. You got other things to worry about. Ooh, unlock the decision to deploy the experimental PA troopers. Why not? One of the chief roles of the NCR Military Academy is the R&D department, where weapons and equipment from the old world are continually being redesigned to fit the NCR's doctrines. Among the most significant recent developments, one can find the NCR heavy trooper, a man clad in unpowered armor. Immensely durable, but slow and cumbersome, an awkward weapon on the best of days. Well, we literally have potato power armor. That's not very good for us, I would say. But, you know, maybe that's just me. Dynamite or dynamite? Yes, please. Doggos, doggos. Yes, please. We love the doggos. You're going to, need to say there. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, cryptology. That's right. Yeah, definitely religion. And then you guys, and then you guys, and then you guys, and then you guys. Yeah, we don't like y'all. Ah, Klamath. Uh, you didn't see anything. This is totally normal. Totally bringing democracy to the wasteland through force. All right, so you guys did pretty well. Um, how many divisions does Arroyo actually have? They probably have quite a few. Three, four thousand manpower. No, no, they don't. Okay, then. Well, all right. If needed, we can race you guys down south. I don't trust the Brotherhood of Steel still, because we need the Baja Expedition or something down here, don't we? we got to do this one eventually. The Emergency Council, after after 2078, so the Emergency Council. Uh, we're losing weekly manpower. It's, it's only three guys. They're actually demobilizing. Look at that. The Legacy of Navarro is hurting us. We're supposed to be at 3%. So we should be done demobilizing. Do I have, oh. I'm pretty sure we left this, left this on historical, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Oh, yeah. Santa Ana is no longer... Oh. The Alamo chapter is no longer here, so it is what it is. Division attack and defense of core territory, that's not really worth it. Jennifer Oliver, meh. War hero, yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, speed. That's just something I won't choose. Let's choose that one. Waste and pacification, cool. Very cool. That's what that one. Thank you very much. Compliance. Oh, yeah, wait. do we need to core this stuff? Do we have to manually core that? 6,400 refugees have fled from the NCR? They better. Oh, that's a lot of pee-pee. Let's see. Umbra, Umbra. Actually, you know what? Let's just read the next one after we do this one first. Oh, God, radio is going to take so much to get. So, and we need all the following. The Emporium of Armament. Despite its economic prosperity, Shady Sands also stands as a testament to the military might of the NCR, as it's where the majority of the army is trained and equipped for this reason. Thousands of arm merchants travel here each year in an attempt to secure a long-standing contract with the NCR, providing arms for currency in addition to earning a permanent front shop in the city. Umbra, core. It's like... What do we what do we got? Umbra. Expand the frontier, but do we have to manually court? I don't want to have to manually court, man. That costs a lot of pee-pee. Rapid annexation, that's for the rapids, of course. This is for the divide. That is for coring a lot of other stuff. Pause the game real quick. Thank you, thank you. Manifest destiny realized. Which is why World Goal Sometimes goes down by 20%, which is pretty good as well. Obviously, the Western Royal Fall Legion. Mojave territories, core territories, as well as Mojave Brotherhoods. State of Baja. Yeah. Retaking Rattletail. Uh, ooh. Tahoma, Suck City, and that, all three of these are cords on there, of course. Nope, doesn't look like we have to manually cord. God dang it. Meh. Meh. If y'all need to, oh. Let's do that, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that, let's do this, 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 this. That's a little bit ahead of time, it doesn't really matter too much help. Keep training, make yourselves better. Oh, okay. Stonks? Nice. That's all. Oh, it's only sixty NCR dollars. Wasn't usually. I guess technically we're not. We weren't using dollars earlier, but it was, it was caps. Um, but like usually it's one hundred fifty caps. So hmm. We got a lot of PP still though. I kinda like it. Kind of like it. All right. Let's get some naval stuff. Something I probably wouldn't choose normally. Get more damage. You never know if we have to fight the Legion soldiers. Trained doggos are great, great, great. Uh, what else do we want here? I'll grab some of that part standardization because we can. Uh, more divisions, not bad. We're going to use as many divisions as possible here. Actually, what do we have on our divisions? I don't even remember. We got. We need fire teams, anti tank, fire teams, anti tank. Oh, there goes the look. Anti teams, fire tank. What else we got? Let's see our troopers. We got the. We got the fire teams. We're going to need um. Mobile bases, and we'll probably get demos. So that's all the space that we literally have. Demo equipment is not very good right now. That's okay. Maybe we should make some. And there you go. You probably don't need too much there. And uh, try playing attackers. Yes, please. Please, 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 please. There you go. Five. Uh, go down to ten right there. And 
fortify the eastern routes? We probably should do that, but reorganize the bazaar. The capital of the NCR abstracts strangers from distant lands. Tribals come to the petal mystical relics. Scavengers attempt to pawn off electronic doodads and junk, and on occasion, cloaked strangers try to sell advanced technology from ages past, as the city is one of the most only places in the wasteland where one can do such a thing without fear of being robbed by the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh boy, those dirty boys? No. Those evil boys. What, what am I? Mm. Wait, who, who went to war with the Legion? Wait, what? Oh, you guys are good enough. Um, we're going to keep that much for now. We can lower that a little bit more, too. That's fine. Who'd you go to war with? Oh, the Phoenix... Oh, no, yeah, they're going to die. Uh, let's see. Eight refugees have come to settle in our states. All right. Well, welcome aboard. Please don't cause a problem for us, because right, we have to get rid of you. And this is not worth coring at all, probably. But let's see. 100, 100, 100, 100. Which one has the most population? Oh, God. This is not good. Not worth it. Uh, unreasonable demand. I don't really care. I'll do it anyways. Why not? Last resistance, right? Yeah, don't worry about doing that. Let's build up our stuff in our bases. By bases, the hub, one, two, and I, by that I mean we actually use a few more military factories too. Words are escaping my head. Trade nodes. Oh my goodness. Head. What? What am I thinking of? Brother that Hayamba. North Phoenix. Oh, look at that. So, Boneyard, uh, The Hub, of course, Shady Sands. Oh, yeah, Sac City, too. Don't forget about Sac City. We love Sac City. Well, some of us love Sac City. Where is Sac City? Stockton? Oh, it's right there. It's right in front of me. My goodness. I am blind, man. I am b -b -b blind. Oh, more military factories. Very nice. Okay, get some more guns. We're pretty much good on everything. We need to make a lot of this, too. We're going to need more military factories, though, for um, infantry armor. But more importantly, radio. radio so, fortifying the capital, because we can. One of the chief goals of the NCR military is the preservation of the NCR on the whole. And as such, there are few expenses spared when it comes to protecting the capital each year. The defenses of the city are built higher and higher, even as the local garrison is increased to regulate and protect the teeming masses. And we have... We're going to make some money, hopefully, soon. I'm not even going to look at that, because we should still have enough money. But reorganizing the bazaar is very, very good. Thank you very much, NCR Congress. Uh, Gunter Polatli. Okay, the Barons, Anton Flynn, Algon Murphy. This seems different. It seems like it should be something else. Emergency Council. The Barons' War. Well, this will happen sometime. Actually, when is it going to happen? After March, so in about a month or two. So that's not going to be good for us, but that's all right. Suppressive firepower. We love suppress uh, suppressive firepower. And now we're completely out of radios. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. 1500 is not bad at all. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty darn good. What do we have? Resistance. Oh, or in the divide as well. Okay, we have to manually core that too, probably. Oh, I should have core this earlier. Why did I Why did I spend my PP on Umbra? Wait, am I going to war with the Royal yet? Oh, I'm not even just... Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I am... I am off my rocker. Wait, this gives you... This is different. Oh, this gives you more manpower. Look at that. Monthly population appeal to refugees. Are refugees good people to have? Hmm. Ram. Well, we're going to ram them as hard as we can. And I guess... You know what? Rams are nice and all. Let's grab some signal flags. Since we're here, we're making ships anyways. Uh, triremes. These aren't the best ships to have, but it, it'll be alright. Nothing there. Naval rams. You might as well throw that on. That kind of slows us down a little bit. Eh, I think we'll wait. Let's wait first. We'll get more naval speed first, maybe. Keep building, 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 building. Where to find the capital? And then refurbishing the power plant, maybe? A uh, city like Shady Sands consumes an immense amount of power and each, with each year. The aging electrical grid struggles to keep up with each change. As such, the addition of new generators and wind turbines is are constant, be they nuclear or powered by solar rays. The growing of this grid is essential for the continued functioning of our city. Uh, that's the only city we apparently care about, is it? And, uh, hmm. Reorganization of the right. Eh, maybe I should have done this one before, earlier. It's alright. We're just going to have some emergency council issues, probably. The northern farmlands of the NCR have been thrown into absolute turmoil following a violent clash of the barons, whose mercenary armies are now rampage, stealing cattle and gunning down citizens as they attempt to gain the upper hand in a wasteful scramble for power. The rest of the NCR is in shock and starving due to a lack of pr produce from the north. Something must be done, and must be done swiftly, the barons' war. There is no misunderstanding within the NCR as to which border is the weakest, for the northern lands of the NCR hasn't seen large-scale military action or involvement since the NCR 80s war, almost 10 years ago. It was during this time that many vulnerabilities within the NCR became clear, not the least of which was the substantial time it can take for the NCR to mobilize and move on its military north. 
When faced with the realization that the NCR's military was largely incapable of protecting or patrolling the rural northern reaches of the nation, many influential and wealthy Brahmin barons took to protecting their own property, with private military forces, dozens and sometimes hundreds of mercenaries being paid to patrol acres of grazing lands and to fight off rustlers. While initially harmless, the situation has grown more dangerous in recent years as barons have taken to engaging in endless skirmishes with one another for land Brahmin while using their political cl clout to keep local law enforcement off their backs. And yet something has happened that no matter amount of clout can hide. The Poker family, a group of barons past their prime, openly murdered their prime rivals on the streets of Sacramento in a gunfight involving no fewer than 50 men and resulted in numerous civilian casualties. This event ignited a powder keg of infight among the barons who now sent thousands of mercenaries to raid each other's holdings in the countryside and in various towns. Dozens of civilians have died and an unprecedented num amount of property damage has been dealt. What's more, the flow of food to the densely populated urban regions of the NCR has all but stopped. This is a disaster that must be brought under control before starvation sets in. This is quite the disaster. Oh, that's not good. I'm not going to touch that. Nope. Unreasonable demand. Um, actually, if we got rid of that. Uh, oh, actually, it has to be after March 30th. You know what? That's fine. Keep doing that one, then. I'm going to finish this one first. Might as well. Since we have to wait till March 30th, so, I mean, technically, we might be wasting time a little bit, but I don't really care. It doesn't matter too much to me. If we end up in a civil war before we fight the Legion, that's probably not very good, but hey, whatever. Club down autonomy. I kind of want to do that one. I kind of want to learn their autonomy. How much stuff do we have? Mm, we need more radios. Uh, saws. Do we have anything? Uh, we could probably give you quite a bit of some sort of equipment. Uh, start of Limleys. Um, lower their autonomy. And what? We probably can't integrate them, actually. 2832. There you go. It's not much, but whatever. Frequency analysis. Guys, nice. Probably off the back cipher. Pretty good. Lost a little bit more manpower, but that's all right. Uh, cool. Alright, good guys. As long as you death deck it, you'll do okay. And are we out of guns for this? Let's see. Infantry armor is looking okay. It's not really ready to go yet. What are we missing? 200 portable radios, which makes a lot of sense. Not bad. There we go. Emergency council. And so with this one... Alright, so with this one we can either go oligarchy, autocra autocracy, or democracy. So no techno technocracy here, which kind of sucks. So, however, there was at least two comments from the last video, really with a lot of support from you guys, saying that we should go down a particular route. And that route is, well, once we click on uh, the hub and promote the notes, we can make some more money, um, is for us to go with the steel deal, which apparently, as you guys say, most people don't take it. And I guess we can be friendly with the, the Brotherhood of Steel, that's just fine with me. I mean, I doesn't really matter to me at all, so I guess we can take it probably. We need to choose Elgood, apparently. Sean Elgood Murphy is a curious figure within the NCR political scene. A common man from the bone yard with ties to both the Brotherhood of Steel and the followers of the Apocalypse. He believes that the answer to the chaos in the North is one that can be easily solved with outside help. Emergency Council. The situation in the North has thrown the entire NCR into chaos, and dozens are dying each day. There's only so much that can be done on short notice, and even as troops are being shipped, in, shipped north, in an attempt to bring an end to the chaos, many powerful NCR politicians and military commanders have formed an Emergency Council to handle the situation. Yet, yeah. even now, the Council has fallen to infighting with two of the most powerful figures present, or the political figures present, Anton I, Flynn, and Sean Allgood Murphy clashing during every encounter. Flynn believes that the easiest method of dealing with this situation is to simply hire the mercenaries employed by all the barons and to redistribute the land to the more of the violent barons to loyal ones, such as himself. Murphy, however, believes that this is simply a power play on Flynn's part and thinks the answer lies with outside help, namely the Brotherhood of Steel, who used to patrol and protect the region. The military commanders present aren't fond of either plan even now, consider ignoring the council to take decisive action. Flynn's NCR buyout, all good Murphy's diplomatic mission, or military intervention. I'd love military intervention, but as you guys recommended for the steel deal, why not? Why not? Like the Pokemon, the steel deal. The steel deal, as it's being called, is an attempt to reintroduce Brotherhood of Steel patrols in the north of the NCR. While this is criticized, heavily criticized by many, all good feels that the Brotherhood's no nonsense approach to combat and their daunting reputation will be enough to make sure the Barons lay down their arms. Whether that will happen or not is yet to be seen, but you know what? We might as well try it, right? Recycling? Nice. Polyalphabetic ciphers? Nice. Complicated circuitry? Ahead of time? Nice. A lot of PP? Not enough. Nice. Oh, we need more money. We need a lot more money. Wow. Oh, uh, we get. Oh, we are at a point where we can grab a lot more stability. Sign us up, guys. Sign us up. We love that. Stabby, stabby, stabby. 
Ooh, yes, please. Why am I focusing so much on naval tech? It's because we have so much naval XP. Well, maybe not so much, but quite a bit of it. All right, after a suppressive firepower, we'll go with fire four bases, forward fire bases, fire four bases, forward fire bases. I apologize. My pronunciations and reading has just been off tonight. But well, it's been better than some nights. Or days. I'm recording this tonight, but the steel deal. Ah, can't wait for the steel deal. I love these shorter focuses. They're just they're so nice. So nice. The new patrol. The agreements with the Brotherhood of Steel, which involve the trading of assets in exchange for an increased presence in the North, has been moved into action. Dozens of Brotherhood patrols now run between NCR settlements and openly trek onto the land of powerful barons. Great. Remove the barons' war, which is actually really, really good, because this is not good. We lose 20% consumers' goods factories, 30... Well, only 3% stability and 2% worse. That's not actually... That's not bad. That's actually not that bad, actually. <laughs> Consumer goods sucks, don't get me wrong, but other than that, it's really not that bad. Keep training if you need to, guys. Totally fine with me, since they don't need to, since they get more radios back anyway. Oh, do we really need that many spec ops? Why do we need so many of that? Wait, hold on. Who's using spec ops? Hmm. Seems kind of puzzling. Uh, let's go ahead and keep doing junk down in those guys. That's fine. Uh, keep one going on for at all times. That's fine as well. Steel deal. The new patrol. Follow it up with all is good. Despite some minor engagements, all goods gambles worked. The mercenaries and the barons are will unwilling to engage with the Brotherhood of Steel, who are slowly reclaiming the land in the name of the NCR. Many barons are openly returning to the fold, and now that it's become clear that they can't win this stupid gamble. And we get all of our cores back? Great. Let's see. Uh, someone recommends in the comments from the last video to de just destroy the Legion. Make them pray to Mars, their go one of their gods, before we utterly destroy them. Cool. We'll try to, the best we can. And, yeah, and as I did say earlier, someone said they like to rush to get the beacon of democracy. Not a bad idea. Really, really not a bad idea at all. Kind of interesting, actually. Victoria Flyers. I want to court the divide first. Let's, let, let's core that first, so. But after the, uh, the all's good, what are we going to do next? Probably try to get down to beacon of democracy. All right, so this should make them like us more, so hopefully they won't backstab us. I'm just keeping these guys here just in case. I don't trust the Brotherhood of Steel. You should never trust the Brotherhood of Steel. So you never know. And, I don't know, someone was also asking, like I asked in the last video, like, is NCR Civil War still a thing in, in this, you know, for NCR? Obviously, we'll have to wait and see. I kind of want to say it's not, it's not, but we're learning as we're doing this together, my friends. Uh, let's see. Ah, yeah, back our workshops are nice. But all is good in the Boneyard? Yes, please. Expand Ranger HQ. Located far from the hustle and bustle, the Hall of Congress, and disassociated from the NCR Military Academy, is a small three-story building. At a glance, no one would ever suspect that this little complex is the heart of one of the most dangerous fighting forces the Wasteland has ever seen, the NCR Rangers. Oh, look, oh, alarming I was wondering, like, oh no, is this like the Civil War thing? But no, it's just uh, a Baja state. Lose political power, they get autonomy. It's nothing. It's 25 autonomy. They give it to them. We'll, we'll, we'll make enough equipment so we can just lovely set stuff to them so it won't even matter. Not bad. <laughs> Effective total manpower modified to 100% and it's red. Draft standards, no undesirables. Reorganized expeditionary course. Not bad. Oh! Oh, look at that. The Legion has struck again. Somehow the Legion has sneaked into Ashton and Hopefield and are fighting our troops. How will we stop them? Blast? Asheville and Hope. Okay. Um, This one has more population, so technically we need to core this one first. And it actually has two more factories. Yeah. I have the exact same amount of resources. I remember the back in the days when Ashton and Hopeville were actually their own countries. Uh, did I play as... I think I played as Hopeville, and then we played with and they had nukes and, and the, some sort of mod. I think it was Sweet Home California. That was a really... I, I really enjoyed that mod. I know some people didn't like it, but I actually really, really liked it. I wish, I, I wish a lot of the mods would get more updated, but it is what it is, you know. Crimson Acolytes... Oh, you guys want to come in? That's fine. Uh, that's fine. I don't really care. Wait, hold on. Who's leading the sheet? Do they get a... Whoa! Dr. Shang! Whoa! Whoa! Please. Of course, we saw her. Uh, of course, Mr. Bishop. And, of course, anything else? No, not too much. Mama Mesmeralda. Are you... Oh, you're, you're with us. Okay, they joined us. Oh, that's nice. Thank guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining the team. There you go. Uh, you might as well do that, too. Actually, no, you both go here. You sit down here. That's fine. You should be able to take them out, right? Right. Right, right. Hold on, I do... How are we out of this much spec ops equipment? I know we got give a lot of it away, but... Maybe they take a lot more now. Yeah, these guys don't need it. I wouldn't imagine these guys why they would need it, so... Maybe they take a lot more. My bad. 
Like I said, I'm still learning this. Oh, that's not good. Uh, guys. Yeah, keep them in place. We'll be fine. There you go. And it's a little bit... There's a few, a few number... Words, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Words are so difficult right now. It's fewer divisions that I would like to take out, but that's okay. You don't want to force it too hard. Mm, hey, another most like nice. Uh, Ranger Commander, what do you, what would you like to do? Um, we, technically, I do want this guy to be more about spe special forces and stuff, because these motorized will just become like normal infantry. So, um, enforcer. Let's see, spec ops, leader skill bonuses, ghoul attack, infantry attack. So, paint train rooted would not be bad. Power armor, uh, reconnaissance, spec ops. I think I'll just go with aqua boy and girl. It's okay. It's not really that great. Commando, probably. Because I want them to be leading just normal special forces eventually. And don't let them worry about that. There you go. Guys, come on, man. Just force the attack. There you go. North Cooper taking in a raid. Very nice. Oh, we lost a division. Alright, well, send everyone in then. My bad. Force them to die. Mobile fortifications are very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Fortified bases. And rapid redeployment. Good. We need way more of this, too. Force them to die. Actually, you you hold there. You go here. Just insert and kill them all off. No, no, no. You keep them all in place. You kill every last one of them. They kill off a single division of ours. You murder every single one of them. Did they actually kill one of our divisions? Maybe not. It doesn't matter. I'm going to kill them all off anyways. I don't care. Aurora's gonna wish they never did this to us. Oh boy. Uh, no. You guys. Oh my goodness, guys. Come on. Just just kill them off. There you go. Just kill them off. That's all you gotta do. Just kill them off. What do we do, what do, we do to our enemies? We just kill them off. You know? It just works sometimes. Nice. There you go. The shining example. If you'd like to read about that, please go ahead. Um, I'd really get the political power. I don't care about autonomy right now too much. Expand Ranger HQ. Cool. The Gamma Corps. Often mutants live isolated lives, one or two in a given community, doing jobs that suit their immense... Oh, my apologies. I should not have not done that yet. Uh oh. Thank you very much. Um, immense physical stature. Mutants are barred from the general NCR military along with ghouls due to the impact their presence can have on the morale of the ordinary conscript. However, the NCR Rangers have no such gripes. Great. I get some upgrades for, uh, cats. Nice. Alright, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and start getting rid of some of these guys. we got a few too many. Cool. Money, money, money. Oh, taxes can be levied. Oh, we can actually levy taxes? That's kind of cool. Wait, how do we do that? In the puppet ledger under the MISCS tab on the top bar. Huh. I mean, this is miscellaneous. Puppet ledger. This is a puppet ledger, yeah. Oh, conscription. Political power. I'm not sure. I must be missing this? Under the. I mean, we already clicked on this one. Yeah. On court states, puppet ledger. Yeah, that's a puppet ledger. I click on this and nothing happens. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't need their taxes. Uh, let's be real. I, we really don't need them. Uh, for taxes, at least, so. But, hmm. Strange. Alright, so you guys come over here. And actually, I'm going to get rid of some of you guys. I'm going to do this. There you go. And ten. There you go. And head... On back. There you go. So everything's a makes a little bit slightly better. So um, you guys come over here. That'd be very nice. Led by a new commander, 
Hoss Contreras. That's kind of cool. Hoss. Inspirational. Get that. Better XP gain. Hmm. Marlock Tribes. We're going to the west line. Very nice. Uh, we'll probably have to defend there. These guys should be able to defend fairly okay. I'm a little worried about this group, though. So maybe we'll spread ourselves out a little bit more thinly up here. That should maybe be good enough. We'll see, obviously. When we, when we do go to war with them. I think we're done building up these guys for now, which is fine. Where are you guys headed to? Oh, you guys headed over there. Oh, natural disasters. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Give everything we can. Nah, we're good. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, how about the next one after Gamma Corps? Ranger reorganization. That's fine, it's nothing. The nature of the NCR Rangers is a complicated one, as it has for decades functioned as an ent entity separate to the NCR military. No more. The NCR Rangers shall be reorganized and integrated into the military proper, serving as the elite corps of the army, meant to deal with any danger that is too dangerous or important for the ordinary soldier to deal with. Nice. Oh, Gamma Corps. Oh, we can't delete these. Oh, god darn divisions. Uh, airborne. Oh, why did we mix oh, ghouls and super mutants? Why? Why do we mix these guys? Uh, they want to feel special. Okay, whatever. I might send you guys a Hoover Dam eventually, too. Let's see what happens, though. I'll send you guys here first. Ah, uh, refined tools are nice. So after this one, we'll do Ranger Propaganda. With the integration of the NCR Rangers underway, it's become increasingly apparent that their role in the NCR doctrine shall only grow with more important as time moves forward. This means, among other things, that the NCR is going to need a much more substantial quantity of Rangers to deal with the dangers of the wasteland, and as such as an intensive propaganda campaign has been launched. 1% more recruitable population for the Ranger prop up? Great! I'm not sure, I don't know if I could ever say that's a bad thing, but that's pretty darn good. Uh, do we have anything spare here? We do need more spec ops equipment. I should not have get, should have not have gotten rid of that, but we need more military factories, most definitely. Uh, I'll build you there. There. We need a lot more infrastructure too. Hmm. Oh, Brotherhood operative. Oh, we have ways of making you talk. Propaganda. We could probably use that. Let's go and spend some of that there. Thank you. Um, I want to wait. I want to save a little bit more on caps for now. Uh, refugees don't care right now. Fire teams get rid of some of these fire teams then. Modify Lend Lease. Here, you can have... Oh, this is... Oh, it's... Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Here, have 1,500 of these two. Okay, that makes sense why we were out. Like, oh my goodness. Ah, Mr. Dumbo. Mr. Mokola, you're kind of Dumbo, aren't you? I am at times. If we need to be Dumbo, I will be Dumbo. Oh, come on, man. All right, after Ranger reorganization. Oh, Baron's the NCR. Oh, look at that, monthly population. Uh, Sex Eater Born, that stuff is all nice. Doesn't really help us out that much, though. I mean, yeah, infrastructure's nice. Crimson Caravan HQ. Eh, not really worth it. Ranger Propaganda first. And the beginning of Democracy, actually, we're going to get through... Yeah, let's do that one first. The might of the NCR cannot be understated, and one need not look at further than Shady Sands to see why. Because of what the wasteland can become under the NCR, a mighty bastion of economic prosperity and military might. Even the most unenthusiastic citizen can feel a deep swell of pride when looking upon this sprawling metropolis, built up from nothing but sand in the dreams of a better tomorrow. Three hundred more political power, upgrade economy law, and remove decentralized bureaucracy. Not bad. Radio detection is pretty good. There we go. It only costs us 50 political power for that, so that's not too bad. I oh, uh, probably won't become a spy master too, but we'll get there eventually. Okay. Good luck with that, guys. Have fun. Have fun. Could probably use a few more planes since we do probably have oh, quite a few. Look at that. Backstack counter shift. If you'd like to read about that, please go ahead. We'll take the stability. Thank you. Twenty-four more. Nice. Train. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and build that up first, too. We're going to need some of that there. Additionally, uh, some more of this, please. Thank you. Alright, actually, both of you guys can come right there. Go and train. Duplicate you. Just stay down there. Duplicate you. And fly back up there when you can. Nice, 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 nice. Ah, oh, good. 
Awesome. Rapid redeployment. And I'll grab some more defense. How about that? Yeah, we could use way more military factories. Oh, NCR patrol report. Oh, boy. Beacon of democracy, my friends. Recently, NCR patrol found a large group of Brotherhood soldiers and scribes inhabiting a building in the heart of the Boneyard. Attempts to figure out what they're doing have been fruitless. When asked to leave, they declined violently. Already, a few NCR soldiers have died from trespassing and we're reaching a breakpoint. Send a messenger. Storm the building. Oh, send a messenger. We wouldn't want to have war on our hands right now, would we? Maybe we would, actually. Uh, NCR troopers. Get some demo teams. Not bad. All good, Murphy. Roy Crenshaw? He's a mad bomber. Unabomber. Ah. <sighs> Returning to us in the late evening, our messenger came shaken and bearing bad news. The Brotherhood are outraged at our suggestion that they cause this crisis, and furthermore, demand that we send their troops back unarmed. Or unharmed. President Wendell Peterson was reaching a breaking point, but one of his senators, a man by the name of Sean Olgood Murphy, stepped in to calm the President. Send him to the Brotherhood. Send him in. Alright. Acolytes. Very cool. I love the civvies, man. Love, love, love the civvies. A successful mission. All good return to the Brotherhood optimistically. They're willing to find a compromise to the issue as long as it's reasonable, and Sean is telling us to take them up on their offer. He suggests we ask the Brotherhood to detain their soldiers who killed our soldiers. For a number of years, they find reasonable, and they can keep the rest. All we need, he says, is justice for dead soldiers. Hopefully the Brotherhood keep their end of the deal. No reper repercussions. Heck with that. Let's, let's do that one. We're going to try to be kind of nice, since we did do the steel deal with them. There you go, we're going to need to train all over again, everyone. We're going to need more demo equipment, which is going to come eventually. Eventually. Oh, we have actually have enough mobile fortifications, which we will need to, but diplomacy wins out. We received word that the Brotherhood has sentenced the soldiers responsible for killing our men. Five years for one man, and two for the other three. The Brotherhood have sent a formal thank you to us for allowing them to carry out the sentence. The sentences are too short, but at least we avoided more bloodshed. Which isn't always a good thing. Sometimes you need to have bloodshed, but th maybe that's just me. Alright, uh, so we did everything here pretty much on the left side. Um, refine tools, very nice. Construction stuff. Ooh, ah, I'll get miniaturized secretary because we can. In the meantime, I want to finish this side off, so fortify the eastern route. The now thriving eastern route into the Mojave will almost certainly make for a tempting target for what parties that wish to undermine our place in the Mojave. We should seek to fortify our side of the route. Probably a good idea. And now we have a steadfast economy. Not bad. A little bit different. So I think back before in a while like the devs said that they updated the NCR to be a little bit different or something maybe maybe not maybe I was wrong I can't remember when did New Vegas join us I thought we were going to go to war with them darn it oh that's a lot of pee pee but um hmm I thought they got an update maybe it was just the economy law or something I don't know the senate maybe is supposed to get more power or something I don't know since it doesn't sound like they're going to go to war with us probably let's see uh, the hub uh, we love the hub Promote Lenode? Where are they in their focus tree, actually? Company. Navarro Outpost. I and mean, we can still go to war them if we really, really want to. Navarro or nothing. War reignited. So that this, they're not going to be able to go down this way since the war did not start. Old bonds. Uh, go recruitment, which is actually good for us. It's bad for them. They actually get more, a lot more manpower down here. So that would actually been really, really good for them. I like, would have gotten Brotherhood Field Fortifications, but they might do old bonds. We can, They'll join us in the war. Which means even though we can still probably take them out eventually. NCR Forge, not bad. Demand the Bay. Well, I guess technically they can still do that one. And if they do do that one against us, then I'll just kill them off. Even though we might just kill them off anyways. We'll see. Nice. Help settlements, please. Thank you. Look at that manpower. Marlock Tribes. So I don't exactly remember when we're supposed to go to war with the Legion. I mean, obviously our soldiers are ready to kind of go ahead and go pounce, 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 but, uh... Temple the Senior? Huh. Oh, most strings nice. Uh, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Because it's... Isn't it, like, somewhat random when... Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. Uh, Kaiser dies, so... Hmm. Uh, but anyways... So I finished pretty much everything I on the left side, except for these two. That's to be 2281. So that must be the year we have to go to war. 
Uh, rebuilding stuff. The barons of the NCR. The NCR's economy is vast and powerful, but there are growing concerns about the sort of barons and the monopolies on various aspects of the economy. From Brahmins to water, all precious resources are controlled by only a handful of men. Yet when these men work together, their political and economic sway can almost make miracles happen in unlikely places. Not bad. Mm, I want even more military factories. Oh, yeah. Both these areas need them. Uh, better radar. Very good. Get some of that. Two. Very nice. Refugees. We don't care about refugees. Anything else here? Ah, scavenger first solar stockpiles. How much manpower do we have? Or money do we have? 63. Not good. Well, I don't want to waste any more time. I'm going to go kill off a couple more neighbors, maybe. So, hopefully these guys will join us. They're on their own faction, of course. Uh, Tono Nation. Sky Reavers. I think the Sky Reavers make for an excellent target right now. 100 days. That's a quite a long time. That's all right. Another operative? Cool. Billy Lee, thank you for joining. So where are all of our armies? So you guys are all doing this stuff down here. Ooh, actually, we're going to need more. Uh, let's do that. Three, one, two, one, one. That is not good, but that'll be fine for now. You guys are over there. You guys are down here. Um, you guys probably won't be getting attacked. Hopefully. So, that's a big hopefully as well. Uh, you guys are just standing by. Well, fighters, boom, boom, boom. Shoshone, yes, good. More of you guys, yes, please, thank you. Barons, and then Junktown flourishes. Junktown is one of the smaller towns in Southern California. It was founded shortly after the war by a soldier named Darkwater. Instead of building on the ruins of an old town, he thought it would be better to begin from the ground up. Since becoming a state of the NCR, Junktown has gained notable economic prosperity and growth, due in part to it being the hub of what little trade the NCR has with the Brotherhood of Steel. Alright, not bad. And you guys are done as well. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. And I'll duplicate you. I could train him, but nah, I don't feel like it. Uh, we should do okay here. Hopefully, that they actually might attack us quite a bit, which would be kind of nice. Light signals are very good. Grab some of that. Some more PP, CQC training. Very good. Grab some more breakthrough. Anywhere else? Um, Klamath would be nice. Yeah, actually, that's probably the best one. Ooh, ooh hold on. 26,000 is so good. Care of an ambush, if you like it, but that, please go right ahead. We'll do that one. That would be really good, but we can get immediate benefit by doing this one first, so. And this one is just too much. My goodness, that's not good. Supplies looking hopefully a little bit better here, maybe? Maybe, hopefully, no? Okay. You guys looking not too bad either. Alright, so we're missing portable radio still and demo a lot of demo equipment. Wow. Are we really missing guns? If it, no, we're actually pretty good on guns. I'll take you out. And actually, you can be led by Ranger Mossman. That's fine. Let's get another general for this group. George Pil Pilati. Alright, cool. How are these guys doing? Air production. Okay, so how much manpower do they have? 10 divisions, not bad. 18,000. That's that's quite a bit. 18,000 manpower. Good, good, good. And then Junktown Flourishes, Gizmo's Legacy, the Mayoral Victory Speech. The victory speech of one Grant C. Hayes was broadcast over the radio to all the NCR this morning. In his 30-minute speech, Grant outlined his plans for the city and the NCR at large. He believes in a future base in the past, the restoration of the mighty cities, and the reclamation of technology and liberty from the other forces within California and beyond. Good for him. Good for him. General Barker. Gerard Barker. Ooh, you lose attack and defense. Oh, that's not good, my friend. You lose quite a bit. That is not bueno, man. Not bueno. Um, I guess I guess in here too. It doesn't really matter to me too much. Los, very cool. I love inspirational, but I want to go with something else this time. Let's go with mysterious stranger. Actually, we're only on peacetime core. Wow, look at that. Core population of 1.12 million. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's pretty darn good. Ooh, supply wise, how are we doing? Are we doing any better down here? We may need a lot more supply than that, actually. Yeah, we definitely will. 
We have enough cities and things going on here, so that's kind of okay. Oh, nice. We can go to war. Good. Who said the NCR wasn't violent? We love the violence. Nice. I'm going to grab some of that, too. And I think we'll go to war with someone else next. Great cons? Unless they're allied to the Legion. Hey, <laughs> look at a Papa Con. He looks so anime-like. Just like the NCR. All right, well, all right, whatever. Oh, they don't attack us? Oh, that sucks. Oh, it doesn't mean we have to attack them. Oh, man. Hmm. I like to get over here. Or, boom, boom, boom. Or boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's way. Uh, we need all three of you guys to go there. That'd be fine. You should be able to do well. We should have air superiority here, with, especially with the, the you know, air base here in Asheville, so. It's all right. Don't worry about it too much. Sure, guys. If you want to help out, that's fine with me. What are we missing? Guns? Ra oh, radios, of course. Um, all right, well. Yep, since you're doing this anyways, you might as well go there, and then you guys are going to go attack it there anyways, so go right ahead. Good. Go right ahead, guys. You should do okay-ish. Mayoral victory speech. Very nice. The Boneyard. The city of Los Angeles must have been the largest in the world before the war. The Boneyard stretched forever, the skeletons of buildings lying under the hot sun. Not even the wind entered this dead city, or so it was for a time, yet now LA grows. People and ghouls return to it, and with each passing year, it becomes a little less empty and a little bit more alive. Very nice. We like it like that. Are they doing last stand? I don't think they are. Oh, they are. Oh, they were doing it last stand for quite a while. Look at that. That's actually really cool. I love it. I, I really actually do like it when enemies do last stand. I love it. Just because it, you literally see your enemies die before you. I don't know. Is, is that wrong to say? I love it. I absolutely love it. They fight to the last man, and it's like, okay, makes it easier for us when we conquer you. Awesome. So how many men have we lost? Less than 200 versus 3,500? Not bad. Not bad. Oh, these guys are completely cut off. That's really nice. Ah, uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you all. Not bad. How's, uh, ooh, things are looking slightly better here, but we're, we're working on it. Get some radar, too. Right, is very, 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 very nice. White legs and New Canaan. Good, good, good. I'm not sure if I really like, though. Oh. Okay, Centurion Ruffinus? Rufinus? Okay, that seems very weird. I'm not sure if I really like the cap on the amount of divisions you can have. Um, it used to be 24, obviously, but, like, 20? Yeah, I know you can upgrade it, but it just seems unnecessary. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. It's probably just me. I don't know. Hmm. I like this right gear. That looks really awesome. Shotguns and right gear. I'm, I love this. I love this part, though. That we get to have an upgrade from crowd control to riot gear. I think that's a great addition. Uh, let's grab some of this, though. But let me know in the comments below. Should we go with uh, ballistics? Or should we go with laser weaponry? Let me know. What do you think we should use? Advanced... Ooh, we can't get down here. Assault carbines would be really cool, but we can't get there. Ballistics or laser weaponry? Please let me know in the comments below. But civilian rule... In Bakersfield. Bakersfield has been under martial law for years as part of the Mojave Expedition's remit, but with increasing control of the Mojave, the territory has been returned to civilian rule. It's only a matter of time before we extend the same liberties to the rest of the Mojave and perhaps beyond to the Torch of the Pacific. Nice. Which I didn't like when I played the Mojave territories, but Ashton Hope fell slip from our control. Wait, the continued Legion harassment has meant that we can no longer say we truly rule Ashton Hope felt So frustrating. There no. We spent 300 political power here. Are you kidding me? What? 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 Next time be prepared, that's so dumb. How did we... La? So it was a waste of time doing that? What if we do that again? I'm going to do it again. I don't care. Why do they hurt us like that? 
the bear roars. The NCR's military is the strongest in all the wasteland. Tens of thousands of men and women who are both well-equipped and reasonably drilled. These men and women are backed up by a dedicated and capable logistics corps. The supreme talent and skill of the rangers and an undeniable dedication to civilization in the wasteland. When the bear roars, the wasteland trembles and will end with reading maybe just one more focus. Hmm... Should I thinning in the new city? The Bone Yard is less than a single entity and more of a series of smaller communities that have slowly grown into a rough metropolitan area. As the smaller communities grow to begin to blend together, a new entity, only known as the New City, has begun to emerge. But I hope you enjoyed this video of, with us playing and continuing as the NCR. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll definitely get into a war, most likely, with Kai's Legion. Wow, look at those hangdogs. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.